Kid Mental is joining us in studio and brought his own studio with us. <laughs> <laughs> That's a the kid? Kid, 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 kid Mental. <laughs> I love it. You, this is the best show off of a guest <laughs> that we've had ever. I think I I, um, I can't remember last time we've had a musical guest. Oh yeah, for any show. What in the studio? Are you serious? It's been a while. Oh. pre-COVID probably. Pre-COVID. I mean, we did a lot of stuff over Zoom and stuff with our friends at you jag off for a while, but uh, <laughs> but I don't think. <laughs> um, but uh, we got to catch up uh, after a, a random LinkedIn message of yeah. a few weeks ago because right. we both went to the R Institute. Yep, yep. And and we had a, a a great we had tacos and and BS'd for a few hours <laughs> here in the studio, and I was like, come on, let's you know let's do some stuff and here you are yeah. and you you made some really cool uh sounders for us here <laughs> um you know and, and so first like people t- tell people i i i first knew you as kid mental because i know your theme song was one that was i think we were using for the pittsburgh current podcast oh, yeah, that's at the right. time i should have brought that right <laughs> that's, oh it's on a I computer see. here somewhere <laughs> i'm sure uh because we were live streaming so i, I got the assets in here right, somewhere right uh but uh but so, so tell us a little bit you know obviously you're a musician of some sort. Tell us, <laughs> tell us a little bit about what you guys do, for those who don't know you. Uh, I am Kid Mental. I do uh, improv loops, uh, suggestive loops live. And so if you ever see me live, more than likely you could just come up to the stage. And if you want me to sing a song about some random thing, I will sing about it. It's just fun like that. I'm on Twitch, and I do the same thing mm-hmm. all the time. Um, but uh, but my main thing that I love to do is uh, a theme song Thursdays. It's my it's part of my um, free theme song initiative. You can go on my website, kidmental.com slash free stuff, and uh, sign up. You can sign up for a brand. You could sign up for a keepsake for somebody that you love. You could sign up for yourself. You could sign up as a uh, hi- uh, what is it? Hero, a villain. Um, just I I think we have a squad one. We have a whole bunch of different, a plethora of different theme songs that you could sign up for. And every month, every first Thursday, I will pick a name. And I will sing. I will actually, it won't even be improv. I'll actually sit there in the studio for six to eight hours and just bang out a nice song for you. And it's it's always fun because, like, especially with the keepsakes, you get, like, just people that, that just want to love. And mm-hmm. I just want to share the love. So it's, like, it's always fun. I think the one one we d- just recently did, I think, was a, a mom and a daughter. A daughter was um, appreciating her mom. And but she was she was being passive aggressive in it. <laughs> like she was kind of saying like her mom wouldn't give her enough space. And then like her um, her mom was a, a professional cleaner. Mm-hmm. But she actually whenever she has her mom come over to her house, guess what she has her, her mom do? Like clean up her house. So it's it's. <laughs> It was it was an interesting thing. So pretty fun stuff. Pretty fun stuff. I love it. It's kind of like a musical cameo. Yeah. Or something, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I, I actually got on the cameo. They finally like like let me in. On. Like two two years ago, I signed up for cameo, and they were like, no, 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 we don't like you. And then like <laughs> I guess it it just went downhill. So then they were like, oh, let's let's reach out to all the people who wanted to get on it. Yeah. So then they 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 asked me, and I, I got accepted. So a couple months ago, I'm I'm on cameo. There you go. Yeah. There you go. That's awesome. So what is the what is the weirdest suge- recommendation or yeah, or yeah suggestion <laughs> I guess that you've ever gotten over the and, and I'm sure and we are a PG thirteen uh, show here so I'll just leave it at that. Oh, uh, oh, so no, I can't. I can't. The, uh, the, the R rated the R rated shows later tonight. Uh, so, the, um, I, I during COVID, there was a time I got the um, I got to do Reddit. So I got on Reddit and Reddit does live. And I guess you we had to rest in peace. Uh, Reddit Live now it's it's no longer. Anything. I didn't even know they did live yeah, over there. Yeah, they did. I had like forty two thousand people watching me at once one Jeez. time. I know, right? Like I didn't even know until somebody had to comment in the section, like, "Hey, you got forty two k in there," and I'm like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> <laughs> and I just had to keep going, right? That's awesome. And uh, a lot of the kids. So I guess since there's no R rated things, I, there's a lot of kids who get on there and they'll say some random things. Um, but I got. I'm going to say for context, we do talk about Pornhub a lot. Oh, on you his do. Show. Oh, so, okay. so if you want to, just I'm highly like, suggest oh, well, what now, happened. Now I can't even. Okay, so there there are a few sex workers that did come in, <laughs> and they did ask me for some things, and it, and it, I felt like it was appropriate for me to do it. Sure. You know? 
And because, uh, you know, if you're if you're going to try to censor something, that's probably not the place to do it. Right. You know? Right. It's so, definitely not so the place yeah, to do it. No, it's it. not. <laughs> and uh, I did. I did a few different suggestive songs on there and <laughs> and we had fun. Like everybody just was Good. like, I didn't expect you to do that. Mm-hmm. And it came out really well. And, they, and they're like, hey, like this is a bop. This is stuck in my head. And they, you know, I, I think that's the best compliment that you could ever receive is it's stuck in their head. That's amazing. <laughs> so, th- so you got You got this whole setup over there. Um, you know, uh, and, and please, like, you know, I'm sure there might be some musicians that might be listening to this. Mm-hmm. Uh, but even for like some of us that maybe are not like fully into it, like, what, what do you, what are you working with over there? Like, what kind of hardware do you have? Uh, 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 uh th- th- in that, in that setup. I have a pretty simple, simple setup. I try to, I try to keep everything analog or 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 hardware so mm-hmm. i try not to use any apps or anything like that so i have an electro harmonics uh voice box over here it's a foot pedal that um you can do things like this and you know talk real cool like that <laughs> uh i could do harmonies and i got a vocoder in this so when i hook it up to my keyboard mm-hmm. i can sing with it um and then i have my main hardware over here is the rc505 it's not the Mach 2. I do have the Mach 2, though. I'm happy, finally. I, I got a gig big enough to, to support me to get a Mach 2. That's how you do it. And, yeah, this one was actually given to me as a present. Um, I, I, I was um, trying to get into this, right? And I had a RC, I think, 21. I think it's a two-pedal. And um, some, somebody gave it to me, and they said, hey, can you, if you can make this work, you can, you can use it. So I started that, and I started getting back into the scene because my kids are older. So I got back in the scene with this little, little pedal, which I was trying to use my hand on. And um, this guy hired me, uh, Mike Y. Peace, you know, Mike Y. Shout out. Um, and he wanted, me to do, he wanted me to host his loops, loops giving and his loop stuff. And he said, have you ever used a 505? And I said no, and he let me use it. And every day I would just practice with it. And we had, um, we I hosted his different shows throughout the years. Mm-hmm. And then the last year that I hosted one of his shows, he was like, "All right, it's yours now, and you can you can have it." And that I was like, "Yo, like that was probably one of the best presents I ever received." I just was I was enamored, you know. I could use it. So this is that RC five hundred five that I got from him. And then I got two MPX uh, 16s over here. These are triggers. Um, that's how I use. To this is, this is yeah. awesome cast. And I, I have these because they don't really make them anymore. And it, it gives me four, eight. I got 16 on each one. And so I have 32 now. But um, they don't make them. So I can't. I can, are, I, it's like a it's like a button pad, right? Yeah. That, uh, I noticed I saw you writing on there. And, and we use like the white tape for when we're doing like soundboard yeah. like yeah. kind of stuff. Like is it like a dry erase kind of surface on there? Yes. I found these from Europe somewhere. In Europe, somebody makes uh, they you can stick it on top of it and it's all dry erase. Nice. And I just so like it just kind of goes on it like an, like an iPhone screen or yep. something, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Awesome. It's it's really cool. So I, I've been able to use it and know what's under each button. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and you're not like you don't have a big mess. Like we have to like replace the tape and yeah. stuff every time, and then you get like stick your residue on your soundboards, <laughs> you know? Because it's all you know. We use it for like okay, this is mic one, mic two. Yes. This is gonna yes, be a yes. room mic. You know, yep. this is this is this coming in. You know, just so we like aren't confused in the heat of the moment exactly. during a gig. Like exactly. the same thing was that, right? It's a hard, it's a mm-hmm. hard thing because before on the other side of this, mm-hmm. I would put, I would put gaff tape on it. Right. And then I would put, uh, f- you know, 16 little squares and then I would write <laughs> inside the square. Oh, so you like, you like created this matrix, yeah. like legend or something <laughs> that you just stuck on there <laughs> and you have to make sure it coordinates with what you see. Which and you was push so the hard yeah, because I'm yeah. live and I'm like, somebody just made a joke and I'm like, joke, joke joke oh joke is joke so it killed it <laughs> did it i did it <laughs> it's it, sometimes i'm off but i i got it now yeah, i can yeah. do it faster <laughs> nice nice yeah, that, that's what comes with experience right yeah, yeah. so um that's amazing so oh. uh, <laughs> <laughs> Um, so when you're doing this live, like when you're doing the live thing, like, what do you like, like, you know, we, we talked about you're doing music sets, like what kind of like, what are you kind of generating on those kinds of sets? What do you mean exactly? Like what, like when you're doing, like we were talking about like you doing like the, 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 the live music, right? Like, yeah. like how, how are you generating that? Is it, is it like the beatbox it's thing? All like beatbox. How do it's all like, understand it's, that? It's, 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 it
Thanks. Oh my God, that so is it's, awesome! It's just right off the cusp. I, I, yeah. did, I didn't, you know. Oh, a cuff, I guess. I don't, I don't have any. PG thirteen, right? PG, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Um, cool. So, so, what do you recommend for people that want to get into this kind of thing? Um, I recommend just experimenting on anything. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have the money, there's a. If you have an iPhone, you can get a Everyday Looper. Everyday mm -hmm. Looper is a pretty cool. One, you should look that up. Um, it's it's great. It gives you, I'm pretty sure it, uh, one, two, three, I think it's four. It might give you four different ones. This one but here? The, yeah, that one. Mm -hmm. But you see the four, it's yellow, green, orange, mm -hmm. blue. But then you also can do, those are all mono. You c Those are mono, so you can you can split that, f that in half. So you can do six, uh, I think eight, I think. Don't give me... <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can. Either way, I, it's a good, it, and it's only a 5.99 yeah, app. That's like it. That that's low. And, and, and yeah, that's and this like, is this is 500 and something dollars right yeah, now. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> and you step up, right? I yeah. think it's the same with video. Like everybody's got a phone in their yeah. pocket. Start with that. Start with that. Build yeah. up. Okay, when you hit the ceiling, what that phone will do. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I need X to c get to the next exactly, level. Right? Exactly. Exactly. I always try to suggest that everyday looper. It's a really fun looper. Is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to sneak in there. You got to sneak in 